a single shot from the gun of West Virginia hunter John Moon changes his life and plunges him into a deadly struggle over a lot of money. Director David M. Rosenthal's new film, A Single Shot, explores plenty of moral questions through the lens of the internal struggles roiling within Moon, played by Sam Rockwell, which result from that gunshot and the newfound wealth that comes with it. In advance of the film's nationwide opening on September 20th, the Jewish Channel sat down with Rosenthal, who recalled his initial response to the story, based on a novel by Matthew F. Jones, who also wrote the screenplay. One of the things that attracted me to Single Shot when I first read it was there is a, there is a deeply moral through line. In some ways, it, 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 it almost plays in a very subtle way as a morality tale, in a very sort of classical way. You have this guy who, who makes a moral, ethical decision in, in, when he's backed against the wall, and as a consequence of their de those decisions, the world comes crashing down on him, and we, and we watch that unfold. We, see, we know it's coming, we see it happening. In preparation for filming a single shot, Rosenthal said he sought inspiration for the look and feel of it in the works of several great filmmakers, including Joel and Ethan Cohen, and the moral themes they explored on screen. And I think the Cohen brothers definitely do that, you know? I mean, No Country for Old Men had similar themes. Um, Fargo has similar themes. You know, and I don't know that they would say that morality is something that, that they chase, but it's something that it, they're probably just drawn to, whether consciously or unconsciously. Rosenthal added that he also doesn't consciously focus on the morality of his characters on screen. I don't know that it's writ large over everything that I, that I want to do, but I, I think it's just there. It's just part of, it's part of my genetic makeup in terms of the way I... I approach stories and the things that I'm drawn to. Rosenthal's makeup is Jewish, but not especially religious. Both my parents are Jewish. Um, you know, I, I had a, a lot of Jewish life around me. You know, we did Passover. We did, you know, we um, we did we lit the candles during Hanukkah, obviously, and all of that. But my, you know, my dad is a was, is a doctor. My grandfather was a doctor. His father was a doctor. His, you know, there's a like, so it's a, a big science family. So they were more, they're probably more attuned to, to science. I, w I won't call them atheists, but they, the, the religion thing was not something that was that was tracked aggressively. Rather than staying in the family business, however, Rosenthal is forging a career in film, which has taken him from his hometown of New York to Los Angeles. But his Jewish identity was shaped by his parents' long-ago decision to leave the choice to be bar mitzvahed up to him. I chose not to, and in retrospect, I feel like, oh, I missed, I missed something, you know. Um, and when uh, it's funny when other, you know, when other Jews are like, "What? You didn't get bar mitzvahed? What? You should do it. You should do it now." I, I lived over, I lived uh, above a rabbi, um, a Hasidic rabbi. Uh, who and we became really good friends, and he was this really nice guy. And he was like, "Let's get you bar mitzvah. Let's do this, you know, like an adult adult bar mitzvah," which I thought would be fantastic. But I haven't done it yet. Bar mitzvah or not, Rosenthal said that faith, Jewish or otherwise, plays a part in how we and the John Moons of the world develop a sense of morality. But it's not the only part. I think we learn morality through religion. Some people learn it through religion, and and. And we learn it through, you know, it's passed down from, from our parents in terms of lineage. But I think there's some kind of, you know, I, I believe that as humans, we know deep down inside what's right and wrong. Um, and even when people haven't been brought up in a religious way, they know, like if, they, if you do something horrible, if you steal something from someone, if, God forbid, if you kill someone, um, I think anyone would have this horrific reaction, but maybe that's, maybe that's the, the, the humanist and the optimist in me. A Single Shot, starring Sam Rockwell and directed by David M. Rosenthal, opens nationwide on September 20th. Reporting for The Jewish Channel, I'm Christian Needen. <laughs>